Alola, Pokemon fans, and I am back the next day, believe it or not, and it is time for that prop battle, a pack battle, I promised you. Me against Alpha Knight Dark Wolf. You can look at his opening in the link in the description, and, you know, um, we're going to do it for points, but, you know, let me know in the comments down below if you think I did, who you think won the pack battle, um, depending on what the actual polls are, if you feel like points didn't do it justice, or if you feel they did. Um... So we've got the three-pack Rubble Clash Blister with the Rayquaza promo card and a Lycanroc um, coin. Um, you know, when you buy both to get the both promo cards, you always get two of the same coin. I wish they would start putting more variety into the coins they put in these. Like, every pack should have a different one, but um, that would be a lot of coins, so I don't know. I just have all these doubles of coins. I try to only keep one of each. <laughs> all right. All right, so let's save this one for last. It jumped out at us, so maybe it wants to go first, so we'll let it go last. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm going to redeem that before um, I put the video up, so it, I will share one of the other codes with you guys for luck. But that one will be already redeemed by me. So, you know, like I said, I'm generous, but not that generous. So Rayquaza promo. Everybody loves Rayquaza. One of the best legendaries, in my opinion, and I think many people would probably agree. Um, all right, so... Rebel Clash. Three packs, hoping for some good pointage here. All right. Good sign. Are they still doing that? Oh, I've been so out of it for so long, as you guys well know. Um, well, since it's good luck, I'll share this one with you guys. Enjoy. All right. One. I opened two of these in the Duraludon Blaster. I got absolutely zero good pulls in, so I saved the good one for the pack battle. Leaf Energy, Palosand, Milo, Turfield Stadium, Toxel, I don't have you yet, Galarian Mr. Mine, Snoover, P Dove, Darumaka, Alolan Galarian, right? I know what I'm saying. Um, ooh, a phalanx, phalanx, however you're supposed to pronounce it. He is a reverse uncommon, or I think uncommon. So not a reverse rare, but our epic pull is, <gasps> whoa, ha <laughs> ha, a Cinderace V full art. Four points, anyone? Four points, anyone? Four points for full arts. <laughs> We're going by the usual point system. So a secret rare is five um, Vs and um, V's are three, hollows are two, and reversaries are one. Cool. That's good. All right. Shall we hope for even more points? Is four, you know, <laughs> eh, reverse rare, maybe. maybe. Uh, let's see. All right, one, two, three, four. I like the design of the new energy cards, I will say. Um, Interesting that, at least in the first Sword and Shield, there's still, even though they don't do fairy type for Pokemon, they still have fairy energies, which I guess makes sense. So people can still use their energies in decks they make while Standard still includes some uh, um, stuff from cards from the um, Sun and Moon series. And I sound more intelligent about the TCG game than I really am most of the time. If I play online, I usually make expanded decks, so I've been trying to make some standard ones lately. Although, here's my thing with the TCG um, online. Ah! All right, uh, Lombre, Halucha, Indeedee. Maybe I won't tell you guys what my thing is. You may think I'm a, a snob. Hatena, Scyther, Nosepass, Lingo, Coughing, Reverse, Probopass, Reverse Rare, one more point, total of five points. Um, and our rare is a Arcanine, which I do believe I have already pulled that rare. Um, I've only opened a few packs from this set so far, but I do believe I've already pulled that rare. Anyway, I, I hate looking up other people. I mean, I like watching tips about like what cards to include and what good combos are good combos, but I don't like making, making decks entirely from other people's templates because I feel like what's the fun of it if I'm not trying to create a deck on my own but my skills are not that good so inevitably I usually lose even especially when I'm forced to use standard cards so I do more expanded um, and sometimes I do get tips and from other people and stuff but Carcol, Beware, Skyla, 
Scyther. I just, I like, I find more fun in making decks completely from scratch in my own head. And that, of course, means they're not as good as if I took advice from other people. But that's, that's just kind of how I am at this point. Yeah. If you think I'm a snob, you can tell me. <laughs> Bronzor. Skyla. Uh, reverse Trainer. Not a reverse rare. And a Mandibuzz. Very nice. All right. So we got a total of five points. I think that's quite respectable. And it really just depends on what Alpha's polls were, how well we did in the pack battle. This doesn't count for points, of course, but it's very nice. Um, and we got the Probo Pass, reverse rare, and the very nice Cinder Ace full art. Though not a gold one. These ones come in gold, right? It's the starters that are gold, I think. Um, obviously, I haven't gotten the Elite Trainer box, so I haven't looked through the little booklet yet. And you guys know I like to do things in my own time. <laughs> I'm a weirdo, but thank you very much. I hope Alpha did well on his polls, but hopefully not as well as mine. And with our five points, I say adieu and later gators to you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video, which will probably be a older opening revamped, but I'm sure I'll have an Elite Trainer box or something new to open relatively soon as well. I'm going to try to get back on, back on schedule a little bit. Maybe not as frequently as before, but at least weekly, so maybe twice a week. We'll see. We'll see what the future holds. Bye-bye!